This is Jack from No Code MBA. Today we're going to look at two AI tools that are going to be really useful if you build a new app, a new website, or anything really online. So the two tools are Namelix and then also Logo AI. And I'll leave the links to these in the description. And what we're going to do is go through these tools and just to see how they work. Let's see if we can create a business name and also a logo using these two tools in AI. Now, if you build something like an app, naming it and coming up with a logo is often a really hard part. So what we're going to do is test these two tools to see if they're going to help us come up with the logo and also the name. So obviously, after you get this business name generator, you'll have to do your due diligence to see if it's already taken and trademarks, etc. But we're just going to have a little bit of fun here because let's say we've built a new calorie app. So an AI app that allows you to upload your food and talk about your food and then it gives you the calories. And in fact, we've made some videos on creating this app and how to do that recently. I'll leave a link to those videos in the description. But here, what it's asking us to do is to generate short brandable names, business name using AI, and to keywords. So we're just going to put in AI app for calories, upload, I'm just going to upload food. Um, let's just see how that works. I'm just going to say generate. And then this is kind of cool because what it's going to do here is select a name style. All styles, um, evocative, compound words, non-English words, brandable names like Google or Rolex, short phrases, etc. Let's just go auto and then generation randomness. So you can have low random, the most direct name ideas, balance, more creative results. We'll do that one or high random ideas. Next brand uh, info, add keywords that might be relatable, a short one sentence to describe your business product. So what I've done is I've just basically described the app here and then I'm going to click generate. So 28% of the way there. Now this was really quick. So we have <laughs> calorieary, which is quite a mouthful. Um, Calorix, which is kind of cool. Eat AI smartly, not good on that one. Eatify, etc. Calorie Atlas. Um, we can go down so many different ones here. Um, Calorica, and you can just see on your screen, Comfo which is something a little bit different. Neutrodroid, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Um, calorie Balance, uh, Ediblo, Calorie Int, Thrist, Calorie. I kind of like some of these actually. And I imagine if I took some time and also researched to see if this was taken or not in terms of trademarks or just GoDaddy, the, the .com name, um, I would take some time. I'm sure I would find something here that would really suit what I'm looking to do. Now, it's really important that you research these names because Etify is already taken and you don't want to obviously have a name that's already taken. Now, one I quite like is Scannery. So let's just say we go with that, uh, Scannery. Obviously, again, just do the due diligence on this. The next thing we can do is think about the brand. Now, I came across this logo AI and if we look at the pricing, what I like about it is designing logo is free only pay to download the logo you actually want to use. So this means you can have a play around with it. And then if you like it, then you can um, get it. So there's a basic plan here. There's a pro plan as well. Most people probably want this um, pro plan. So if we go to the logo maker, let's try it out. We'll click start until the logo name, scannery. Know your calories with AI, something like that. Continue. Select an industry, so it could be, it's not really sports and fitness, it's not really restaurant, go others. And then set color schemes that match your brand. Let's go with trendy, the gradient one. We want a modern tone, and then click generate. So now it's going to create logos for us, and let's see what it comes up with. So it's actually come up with this, to, we have to now create an account to see these uh, calories. I'm just going to do it. And here we have it. Look at all of these different logos. So what you can do here is say which one you want to use. Now, one thing I've noticed is I wish we could have added the food item to this, but let's just say we go with one and see what the next step is. 
Um, I quite like. Maybe you've seen one on the screen. Um, oh, I added the lo the pizza here. Um, let's just go with this one. Click on it. Go edit. And then click on logo elements to move and edit. This has just given us the lowdown. So basically, we can go over here and see the different variations of this. Um, I quite like this one with the, the knife and the fork. Now, f let's just say we want to use this one. It's all about buying it and downloading. That is Logo AI. Let's talk about a couple of alternatives here. An alternative is using something like Canva, where you can get these logo templates. So let's say it's this one. You've clicked on it. You can just taste, change this to Scannery. And you have a logo here. And then another thing to do is you can use ChatGPT to, or Gemini or Claude to come up with names for you. So what do you think about these two tools? Namelix, the first one, to come up with names for an app. And then secondly, we can use LogoAI.com to create logos for us. What do you think about these two tools? Let us know in the comment section below. Are there alternatives that you can use? If you want to learn how to build apps with AI, use AI for coding. You can use things on Flutterflow, Bubble, also Figma. Then go to nocode.mba and browse the different courses that we have. There are hours of high-end tutorials here taught by the top no-code instructors with many reviews for you to look over before you buy, 400 plus reviews. And just go to nocode.mba to learn more, to get access to all of these courses and also to join the community, to share what you're building, to ask questions and to get support. So that's nocode.mba slash courses. Thank you for watching. If you want to stay here on YouTube, then check out the different tutorials we have on how to build AI apps. Speak to you soon. Bye for now.